Tyaktwa Turna Mashesha Mandala Pati Shrenim Sada Shrenim Shrenim everything good, all family, money, everything, it's all insignificant. Why is it in, insignificant? Because Gopi Bhav. <laughs> it's Gopi Bhava Rasa Amrita. <laughs> they attained Gopi Bhav by Mahavru's mercy. He came to preach Raghunuga Bhakti, which means follow the gopis of Vrindavan to love Radha and Krishna and serve Radha. So Gopi Bhava, they attained this Gopi Bhava Ras Amrita Abdi. Abdi means an ocean of nectar. Ras. What is this Ras of Gopi Bhava Ras? It's the Ras of serving Radharani like a Saki, like a Manjari, with a special, extra, extra special affection called Sneha Adik. Very special affection. Because we have an extra special affection for Radha, and she has extra, extra special affection for her Manjaris. She loves her Sakis like her best friend. Saki means friend. She loves Lalita Vishaka like her best of friends. She give everything to them, but she loves her mandris even more. As the Sakis, the Lita Vishaka, they have Krishna Sneha Adik. Adik, extra, more, additional. They have more affection for Krishna they, than they do Radha. <laughs> so it's like they have night, they have, <laughs> say, en enough more, but the mandris have, they're special. Only the mandris, Radharani's personal Personal, confidential maidservants, our mandris have Radha, Sneha, Adik. These are the Nitya Sakti category. So they were these six Goswamis, Rupa Goswami, Raghunadas Goswami, etc. They were absorbed in Gopi Bhav, Mandri Bhav, and repeatedly immersed and plunged in the waves and ripples of the ocean of divine rapture. The Nectar Rasa Festival of Srimati Radharani's intimate seva. By the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srimati Radharani, they received this, as it's told, Swadasya Utsavam. By the mercy of Goranga, they got the Utsav, the festival, seva festival, Radharani's service. So by sending her representative, Sri Guru, to initiate a fortunate soul, and train them in Raghunuga Bhakti, which leads to the great festival of Radha Dasyam, the eternal loving service of the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. This is the Dasya Utsav. Lavanya Mrita Vartaya Jagaridam Samplavayanti Sharad Rakka Chandra Manantameva Varana Josnabi Atanvati Shri Vrindavana Kunja Manja Grihini Kapyasti Tucha Maho Kurvana Kila Sadya Sadna Katam Tattva Sadasya Savam. There's two translations here. You can read one's by Dasra Sutta and the other's by Advaita Das. So Dasra says Radharani completely inundates the universe, Jagat Samplavat, with a with the graceful nectar of her charming words, Radharani spreads the radiant beams of her effulgent face like millions of autumn's full moons. Sharad Raka Chandra Mananta Eva Varana Jyotsnavi Atanvati Aho, some indescribable housewife of Sri Vrindavan's lovely sylvan bower houses, Sri Vrindavana Kunja Manja Grihini, Tucha, oh no, excuse me, Aho. Have she, Radharani has bestowed upon me the festival of her own service. Thus, she has made all spiritual practices and goals useless and insignificant. Sri Radhika, the lovely queen of Vrindavan's forest, makes all spiritual goals and practices insignificant when Radha bestows the festival of her service. Dattva Swa Dasyotsavam. Radha, what is Radharani's, what is the quality of that Radha, that very kind and beneficent Radha who has kindly given the festival? Well, ultimately, she's given the seva of her lotus feet as her handmaiden, which will lead to that Prem Otsav, that Premaras Otsav, that Premaras Seva Otsav, that great festival of loving service when we attain perfection. 
What are her qualities? What is her beauty? What is her form like? Well, Sripa describes it in the rest of the translation. Radha inundates the whole world with the news of her nectarine beauty and her face shines like innumerable autumnal moons. So I think we'll stop there and then tomorrow we'll start with uh, verse 74 which describes uh, Madhura Ras.